I'm Sarah and I'm from the Craftivist Collective and today I'm going to show you how to make a mini protest banner that looks something like this. Okay, so when you receive your mini protest banner kit, this is what it'll look like and this is all the stuff that you should need in the pack. And it looks like this. So you get your instructions, the thread and the needles that you need. You get your little mini label, your cross stitch fabric. You get your fabric with the eyelets all ready prepared for you, which is what you hang it on. Your cable ties. You get more information about the Craftivist Collective and you get some examples of what you can write just in case you can't think of anything yourself. So the point of the Craftivist Collective mini process banners is to make people think um, and hopefully act on what you've wrote about human rights injustices and global poverty. So we've already started making one and I'm going to um, show you how to make the rest of it. We've wrote one on privilege because we're going to put it on Brick Lane where you have lots of young people spending ridiculous amounts of money. So this one says, there is no privilege without exploitation. Who should pay for your, and then we're going to write in big cross stitch, who should pay for your privilege, question mark. So now I'm going to show you how to cross stitch and finish up this mini protest banner. It's a really easy thing to do and as you can see from the back it can be as messy as you want because your grandmother's not going to see it and tell you you're bad at it which is what mine did. Okay so you've got your thread and you pull it so you have about an arm's width because you don't want more than that because it might tangle up easily. And you get six strands on each thread. So what you want to do is take two or three. I'm going to take three so it's nice and thick, um, but two means it'll last longer. And you want to separate it and make sure it's unraveled so it doesn't knot up on itself. You want to make a little knot in the back. With these, it's just one line. But with the big one next, we're going to do bigger cross stitch. So I'm going to do eight down for a P, and you want it in each of the holes. And if you go wrong, you just come back up in the hole, and no one ever knows you've made a mistake. <laughs> You can do one at a time or you can do it like this which I think is quicker and easier and it means that you don't have to keep counting all the squares so you can watch TV or chat to your friends while you're making it. With a tiny little bit of thread left which you, you should try not to have not that much thread because it's harder to knot up at the end but it's just about enough okay so now I'm gonna cut around the edges so we don't have all this spare space and we're gonna sew around it with the red thread that you've got it's handy just to pin it in so you don't have it really wonky and you want to start at the back so you don't see the knot. Ta -da. And then you can sew it on however you want. So I'm going to sew it on overlapping the sides, but you could just do a dotted line, which is quicker. is to put on our little tag so people can find your mini banner on our website and you can write a bit about why you wrote it and where you've put it to get people thinking even more. So now we've completely finished our mini protest banner and all we need to do now is put it up somewhere to make people stop, look and think.
if you want to become a craftivist and make things like mini protest banners and other projects and keep in touch with us, then find us on www.craftivist-collective.com or search for us on Facebook. Thank you.